Hello and welcome to Flory Models Friday Roundup Show. Here we are with you on the 28th of August 2020. After what's been a really busy week as always, getting on with it. Certainly pushing on with the um, little armour Hobbies 72nd uh, Hurricane, which is an absolute beauty. Obviously, I've been using the AK Real Color Air series of paints. Slightly different, they're more of a satin finish, and I absolutely love them. The first time I've used them in anger, as I said, I've used the armor colors before, things like that, but I'm using them now. And after the show, we're gonna get the camo work onto this one, hopefully get some decals onto it over the weekend and be pushing through. So when we come back on Tuesday, it'll be pretty much done. Well, that's the plan and with that one. Anyway, it all started obviously on Monday with the uh, part two of the Armour Hobbies uh, Hurricane. So down in this one, really, we spoke about doing the weathering uh, into the actual cockpit area. So we used a little bit of MRP paint in there for the interior green. We gave it a basic weathering wash, things like that. You know, again, 70 seconds ago, you can hardly see anything that's going on down in there. Uh, but we went through the motions of doing it all anyway. Then it was a case of buttoning it all up, getting the wing structure in there, going through the motions of that. A few little problems, a uh, few little fit issues. So we tried to have a little bit of a, a figure out what was going on in there uh, we think we found it um, so we actually we got rid of that sorted that out got it all buttoned up and it was ready then for uh, making its way through with the rest of it uh, on Tuesday, it was the Q&A show with me. Uh, so it was a case of answering all your questions that you've given me in the forum from this week. So we were talking a lot of obviously things about paints in there, uh, spraying yellows and reds, which can be, let's face it, a little bit of a headache. Uh, and I was basically explaining on this one why I use white base coat uh, for using yellows, oranges, reds, things like that, purely on the lighter shades. Because if you use like a black coat in there, black basing and things like that, it, although it gives a good solid colour to it, it makes it incredibly hard work to try and cover it, especially with yellows uh, and things like that, because you've got to put down so many layers of it, you lose detail. And obviously I was explaining the more layers of paint you physically put down, the more at risk you are of causing damage uh, and obviously getting things coming through. So little bits of dust and that, they get exaggerated with every coat of paint, so forth and so on as we're going down there. We also spoke a little bit about photography down in there. We spoke about obviously some of the tips and tricks I've been doing over the last couple of weeks with different things like bare metal, foil uh, and obviously talking about different types of glues and when we use different glues for various situations uh, and things like that. So that was the Tuesday show. You can go off and see that one right now. Uh, up on a Wednesday, we had this little guy. This is the beautiful uh, weekend edition of the Hellcat in 48 scale. Again, it's one of those ones. I intend to build this one next week. I'm actually going to be starting on it next week as well. So it should be quite an interesting build on this one. Again, you know, the kit is typical Eddard all the way through. Uh, it's got great detail uh, and various things in there. And really, I was explaining the differences this week with the weekend editions versus the Profi Pack and the Limited uh, edition ones as well. So obviously sometimes you get the, the kit and it's available in sort of three flavors. Uh, and for me, what I'm gonna do is gonna have a go at doing this one next week, going through the motions of doing all the painting uh, and obviously then the weathering on dark blue and on multiple blue colors. Had it been asked a lot recently uh, over the last few weeks about how, what's the best way to weather darker colors like blacks, dark blues, things like that. So I thought, well, there we go. This gives me a perfect opportunity. One, to do a Hellcat 48 scale, which I think is a lovely scale for this one anyway. Uh, it's a great kit, very basic, so obviously it doesn't have all the goodies that the Profi Pack has, or certainly the limited editions, so I thought really this would be uh, a great opportunity of a quick build, and then we can really focus on painting and weathering uh, on that particular type of thing. So again, Pacific Theatre stuff, it gets weathered, it gets chipped, it gets battered, it fades, um, so there's a lot of different techniques you can do with that one, so I thought we'd have a good look at that one. Same day, obviously, we had me and Matt up with you for the usual uh, giggles as we call it on the Wednesday uh, uh, show again this is our other side of the business uh, with PM models so we talk all things kits kits tools paints all of that not so much the building side of it but definitely on there and we answer a few of your questions that have been put to the company as well and obviously talk about the latest releases what we've had come in stock what hasn't come into stock in various cases and things like that so again it's about an hour uh, and if you want something light-hearted just to follow along with us uh, and that type of thing obviously you can have a look down in there okay just pop in with that one then on Thursday 
And then Thursday night, last night, 7.30, live across the internet, uh, it was me and the guys, so it was me, Matt uh, and John on last night uh, with you, talking all things modelling, uh, a few fun giggles, looking at your great work as well uh, from the actual, on the forum and stuff like that, and then obviously answering loads and loads of your questions that were put to us uh, before the show and during the show uh, and everything like that. So again, if you want to lose yourself uh, for uh, literally about an hour and a half, an hour and three quarters last night, we are on every Thursday night live. It uh, doesn't matter if you're a subscriber or not, it's free to watch on that one. So you can join in with us live at uh, 7.30 Thursday nights pretty much every single week on there. So lots of things going on with that one. Also, uh, on uh, yesterday, we had the second review of this week. This is the Tempest Mark V. Uh, again, 48 scale. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. The level of detail uh, that Eddard are producing now is fantastic. It really, really is nice stuff. And again, the riveting detail, the things you can do with the weathering from it. And again, this one is another weekend edition. So this one basically shows you that you can just build straightforward, no frills, nothing required at the box type kit with that one. Or, uh, as we show on this one, there's lots of aftermarket available for this now, which has literally just been released. So like We've got the gorgeous Tempest engine uh, as well. So that's a standalone resin done by Eddard. Uh, that looks absolutely fantastic. I must admit, I'm very, very tempted to do that and pop that engine into it. As well as obviously to do the gun bays now, uh, which is another nice little touch with this one. The full cockpit, you've got that resin 3D printed uh, cockpit for that one as well. So that's very nice indeed. Plus all the usual aftermarkets that's still available for the Tempest that have been available because again this is another kit that has been available as a limited edition uh, which is a fantastic kit and then obviously it's a profi kit which has come along with some fantastic markings and obviously uh, color photo etchings like that as well to liven up the cockpit but again now they've released a load more with it and I was saying on this particular build what I like about it is that you could just buy the basic kit okay and then you can then just add what you want to add so again perhaps you don't need 10 markings and various things and all the photo etch that perhaps you're not into or you don't want to really worry about or you don't really see it that type of thing but if you wanted to you could just do that and buy an engine for it and have it with the engine showing right the way through that kit would look absolutely stunning but if you wanted to you could throw all the stuff at it or you might think I know I'll get the profi pack version of this particular kit and I'll still add an engine to it with all the other bits that come with that one so again it's just one of those things it's options uh, and that's the nice thing with it so you can just go along then and have a look in there and grab all your options on that. And that basically gets you today where we've got the next part then of the hurricane up there. This is part three, which really is going to get you just before this, just into the primer stage. And on this one, we look at basically uh, how to clamp small models like this using cocktail sticks so there's no uh, joint and stuff in there. Obviously, we talk about going back to basics, sanding, cleanup, rescribing, the usual bits and pieces that you have to do on any model. But it's something a little bit different on the smaller scales like this. And then obviously making our way through on masking. And on this particular kit we get a masking guide which I think is something that should be pretty much on with every single manufacturer out there at the moment so we photocopy this and we use it as a template to do our mask on this one uh, and on here as well it's all masked up on there all ready to go so again I go right the way through and also I show you on there two different ways of doing it so either to do the tape on top and cut round it and then back peel it so you put another bit of tape on peel it off or just put it to the cutting mat on top cut right through it take all the, the waste away and then just take the bits off you cut mat and then straight onto your model really quick very very simple and again this is one of those things well I'll say it and then if they all do it I'll take full credit for it if they don't it doesn't matter uh, but I think every manufacturer should do this and just put on here the guide for the masks because it's a great way of doing it because you can just photocopy this and to be honest it's what I've done I think I've thrown it now but oh, here it is got the photocopy version down in here and then that way you can cut that one out use that as the actual mask set so you haven't destroyed your instructions and stuff like that but it saves you all right only what seven or eight pounds for a mask set but it's just a really really nice way of doing it. I think if every manufacturer did that it would save us all a lot of heartache about going around and masking it but anyway with this particular one and then we move on to doing the primer so usual thing as well we put a black coat around the glassworks to give it a good solid look we paint the internals as well and then we've gone around and we've put primer on it so from my point of view on this one we've just used the mr uh, primer surfacer 1000 with rapid dry thinners it's beautiful it's fantastic stuff dries really really quick and then for my first time we were saying earlier i've used the ak real colors 
and I've, I must admit, I fall in love with them. I think they're absolutely fantastic. They are so thick, um, which might not sound normal, but they're great. They are thicker, I think, than even normal Tamiya and Tamiya lacquer paints. So the great thing is they thin for Britain. So literally you put down, I think I put one mil and I still had paint left over by the time I added thinners to it. And the coverage is absolutely fantastic. Like on here with this brown, it went over the gray, it was two coats and that was it. One nice little thin dusty coat, second coat on properly and that is it, it is solid. Same with the sort of duck egg underneath as well with the sky color. Again, two coats and it is done. And it's good, solid stuff. We've masked over it. We can see from the peeling. It's absolutely fantastic. Nothing to worry about that whatsoever. So I can see this as being my favorite paint. It's just, it's very forgiving, very easy to spray, but it coverage is amazing. So anyway, we're gonna put on the green work onto this one now. So we're gonna mask it up. We're gonna use a mask set for it from Top Notch, which I've uh, never used before. So this is a little bit of a first for me. So we're gonna have a go with this one, get it masked up like we say on this one. And then obviously we'll be going through the motions of weathering it and stuff like that over the next few parts but part three that's available that's up for you to watch now as I said over the weekend I'm going to be working on it and then hopefully by Tuesday it'll be almost finished off so then that way we can get going with the Hellcat next week and then that will join into my next build which I'm doing the Abrams so I'm doing the Abrams with the Tusk 2 upgrades and all the various bits and pieces it is going to be just the outside I'm not doing it in interior details and all the rest of it because I want to focus on the weathering and doing stuff on it like that so from that point of view I'm really looking forward to doing those ones and that brings us over to the forum so in the forum at the moment we've got lots of things going on okay so obviously we've got the finish of the actual uh, group builds okay so the ones that is coming to an end right now as you can see is uh, the SIG uh, it's coming to an end here um, and so this is from Berlin, sorry the bulge to Berlin you might remember we did from the beaches to the bulge and then we finished it off now by doing the bulge to Berlin again pretty much been quite a quiet build on this one I think with everything that's been going on over the last six months as I think we all sort of know and understand uh, so down in here obviously um, you know we've got 99 builds on the go we've only got 47 finished so if we can have a bit of a push on that one I think that would be absolutely fantastic if we can go along with that so that'd be really really nice the current group build which obviously runs to the end of the year is the movie one and we've got some fantastic stuff going in there we'll have a look around that next week okay but loads of you doing some fantastic work as we've seen we showcased a lot last night and on the live shows and things like that so that is going on the next one that's going to start obviously on Tuesday is a very old favorite we've done it before but it's a very very popular one for a SIG and that's basically dog of a kit or your shelf of doom so it's very straightforward. If you've got a kit that you've given up on, any point, it could have been last week, it could have been last year, it could have been sit on the shelf for decades, have a go at finishing it off. It's your chance to push through, and I tell you what, get those half done kits sorted out, get them down, dust them off, find the instructions again, and try and finish them off and get going with it. And also it's dog of a kit. So if you've got a kit that's just, it's horrible, but yeah, fancy a challenge with it. You know, let's face it, during the COVID thing, we all did little things like that as well with older kits, pre-90s kits as we were doing, things like that, just to have a go with them. Then obviously have a go. That means you can build anything. It's a really nice open, just enjoy it, have fun. And that is the point with it to make our way through. As probably you're all acutely aware now, obviously Telford has been cancelled, okay? So we will be doing live broadcasts right the way over the Telford weekend. And again, we'll be doing a few weeks after that for the turkey shoot, uh, for our usual one that we do for the US Thanksgiving holiday as well. So we've got four weekends of builds and these types of things where you're doing dog of a kit and shelf of doom builds, they are great for joining in with us live whilst we're doing those as well. Because again, it just gives you something really to focus on and go through. But if you can finish off those builds, that'd be absolutely fantastic. As I said, full details are up on there at the moment for those particular ones. As I say, the current one for the group build for the medals and all the rest of it, that's going to run to the end of the year. And then obviously this particular SIG will then take us to the end of the year as well, which we make our way through. All right. So still plenty of things going on before this year is out. Speaking of live shows and everything else, if you're not up to speed on this one, we've got a PM Models live auction. Obviously, this is for members only, but if you want to join in with that one, we're doing a few over the next few weeks. So first up is going to be the Air Series of kits going up there. So as you can see uh, down in here, 
if I scroll it slowly, you can see we've got all these kits coming up for auction. Okay, again, there's two ways. You either let us know what your maximum bid is and we'll do sort of proxy bidding for you right up to your maximum bid. Uh, or if you want to join in live via the live chat room, you can bid along live at the time. Okay, so we'll be starting this one at seven o'clock on Sunday night. That's this Sunday coming, seven o'clock. Uh, it will be available to watch if you want, just off of the main site. Uh, or if you want to join in live in the forum and obviously get some bidding going and stuff like that you can bid so these are in lots or singles as you can see them on the screen now as they scroll past lots of different stuff coming up on there and like we were saying before it, it's one of those ones where again look a desert bay that's going to be the star of the show isn't it i think we'll do that one last and obviously this is an original one from the motorhead um uh, he 111 uh, a kit that's the first boxing of it as well so there's a couple of little things coming on down in there as well so it should be a lot of fun if you've never seen one of our auctions before as you'll know they're very light-hearted we tend to have a drink whilst we're doing it we have a, a lot of fun and to be honest loads of giggles and stuff like that you guys bid along all the rest of it but please if you are bidding make sure you pay at the end of the day um so you know we say we don't want to go around chasing people up so just make sure you've got your money available and all the rest of it and don't get too carried away that's happened in previous years okay but again um, the guys are going to be up in Doncaster obviously at the PM store at the, in the warehouse doing it I'll be down here sort of hosting it going through the motions and again if you want to join in with that one or just have us in the background um, and enjoy the giggles and the laughs as we go along with it again this is some of it is Nathan's uh, Nathan on the team some of them those kits some of them are John's as well some of them are obviously PM we might add some more into it and then what we're going to do is another one in a few weeks time and that'll be more land-based stuff okay so this is just aircraft this week um, uh, and then obviously we do one on land and then we'll obviously do some naval stuff and we'll try and rotate them through like that over the next few weeks as well. So if you want to join in with any of those, please do it. So it's going to be live seven o'clock Sunday. Uh, so if you want to join us for that one, it'd be absolutely fantastic. Full details and like and everything are at the top of the screen. Please read them carefully about making bids. Please don't bid on the forum. Some of you already have put your maximum bid, which sort of defeats the object because everyone knows what you're bidding to. So you might find somebody comes along. PM Andy, Andy's got a spreadsheet, he'll put your bid into you and we will bid up to your level. But you don't want to tell people what you're bidding because otherwise people will just go, well, if you've gone to £11, I'll do 12 uh, and that's it. So it sort of defeats the object. So keep the bids all secret. Send them to Andy. Andy's got a spreadsheet. He's going to put them all on the spreadsheet for the bidding and we will bid on your behalf up till that level. But please PM Andy via the forum and he can do it all for you. He's in charge of it this time. So uh, we'll leave it there. But if you do want to bid live, don't forget live in the chat room where the timer up and all the rest of it. You place your bids and then after the one minute warning, highest bid wins the item. As always, we'll be sending them out directly from the actual uh, PM store from the warehouse to you so obviously you have your postage costs to worry about on top of it and stuff like that but we will if you've won lots of different ones obviously bung them into one box we'll seal it up we'll weigh it we'll give you the price for sending it on so forth and so on and obviously if you wanted to add anything else to it from the pm store i'm sure you could as well it's not a problem to keep the postage costs as low as possible and that is about it for this week. On Monday, it is a bank holiday in the UK and I am having the day off because obviously I'm working Sunday because of the PM thing and everything else. And to be honest, I'm working tomorrow anyway, but I am going to have a day off on Monday. So there won't be anything up actually on the Flory Model site on Monday, but I'll be live with you Tuesday with the next part of the hurricane will go up on Tuesday instead of on Monday. And then obviously I'll be answering your Q and A's and all the various bits and pieces. If you've got any questions for me, please post them up in the Q and A area on the forum and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So don't forget, you've got two parts of the Hurricane up with you today. You've got two great reviews up with you today. I'm going to be building that, which I can't wait for doing that one as well. And we've got lots of good stuff coming along as we make our way through. Okay, so that's it from me. As always on a Friday, I'm going to leave you with your great work from the gallery. So until Sunday night, if you want to see us there live, we'll see you then. If not, I'll catch you all on Tuesday. So happy modelling. Take care. Mm -hmm.